The Light Rider goes 80 kilometers an hour and weighs only 35 kilograms. The frame weighs just six kilos and comes entirely from a 3D printer. The motorcycle has an electric motor. The absolute advance. Crazy, man. It's fantastic. It's really a lot of fun. And it's incredibly easy to handle, partly because it doesn't weigh much. Bernhard Gruber's Harley Davidson weighs 320 kilos. The electric bike weighs barely a tenth as much. Bernhard heard what his colleagues at the AP Works were creating on the Airbus grounds. It all started out as a crazy idea of Niels Grafen, who's an aerospace engineer. We actually got the idea at a Christmas party. A colleague and I were wondering whether it would be possible to make an electric motorcycle. Our boss thought it was such a good idea, he took it up right away. It became our company project, and here it is, the Light Rider. It was designed on a computer. An algorithm was applied to data concerning the stress and strain affecting a motorcycle in operation. We thought about all kinds of things. What's located where on a bike? How big is it? What's the wheelbase? What happens when you ride it? That's how we created the geometry. Every part that had no function was taken out. The parts were modeled on the 3D printer using a patented aluminum alloy from the aerospace industry. It's as light as aluminum, but almost as strong as titanium. But using a 3D printer to shape metal has limits that posed challenges for the developers. We had to use the welding seams because we had to divide up the structure into a lot of parts. That's because our printers can't print anything bigger than this. The challenge was to figure out how to divide up the pieces and then put them together so it would be stable. Many designers and creative people have discovered the uses of 3D printing. Producing a chair from the printer? No problem. Jewelry, too, can be computer designed and printed. It's hard to imagine, but shoes can be produced with 3D printing as well. 3D printing can help startups and big companies carry out their ideas faster and cheaper. In the innovative pop-up lab in Munich, Johann von Herwart explains the advantages of the current largest serially produced 3D printer. We can improve a product a lot faster now. Besides, and I consider this very important, if you're not content with the result, then you can take the item you made and just shred it, throw it away and start over. What have you lost? Maybe 35, 50, 100 euros? So you can give free rein to your creativity. Niels Grafen expects knowledge gained by printing the ultralight motorcycle to advance aerospace technology. Every kilo that you have to lift into the air costs the airlines, and by extension the customer, a lot of money. So if this production method enables the manufacture of lightweight parts, then ultimately the airline passenger will pay less. The design certainly is drawing a lot of attention. Harley rider Bernhard Gruber loves the light rider. It's great for short trips or when you have to zip off to work. For that, it's fantastic. And it's so quiet. The neighbors will be happy. It's great. The motorcycle from the 3D printer costs 50,000 euros. Even so, 30 of them have already been ordered.